In this demo we will configure Nginx the same way that we configured Apache before, so you should look at that demo before you look at this one. Uh, I would go uh, through some steps real fast since we already gone through them in the previous demo on Apache. Uh, so the first thing I'm logged in to the uh, web server one which has nginx install you can watch that in an earlier demo how you do that and the first thing we will do here is the same steps that we did in apache so we will create some folder structure and that's exactly the same and we will create some dummy content uh, so i'll do that real quick now probably speed it up uh, So now we have uh, the folder structure the same way. I will use the same in domains here in this demo. Um, so we will have to update our DNS uh, to reflect our new server. Uh, but we will come to that in the end. So now we will have to make some configuration in Nginx. And here, uh, virtual host, we have, uh, it's called in Apache when you have multiple sites uh, on one server. In Nginx, it's called uh, block server, uh, server blocks. Uh, and they have some default configuration files which we can use. <coughs> uh, so the first thing is to copy one of these files to have some uh, default settings. And the default file is under ECT Nginx sites available default. And we'll copy that to uh, my sites So we will copy the default uh, file to my uh, configuration file. And then we will edit that file. And the same as we have in the Apache configura uh, configuration, the hashtag and uh, the hash sign is uh, for comments. Uh, so we have quite a lot of comments here. So what we will need to change, we'll need to create a server, a virtual server. And it should listen to port 80. Um, that's the same, we don't need to change that. The root, on the other hand, will be different. This is where the HTML files will be.
can also see that the layout of the files are quite different. This is more of a JSON format. Uh, this is JSON format that you can use for to configure the server. And then we need to have some index files. Let's see if that is configured. No. We'll set up that. So the server name should be the, the name of the servers and we can create aliases as we did in Apache by just adding more names to the server name. So it will answer for both these names. Uh, you can read up uh, on the and the next configuration on the home page, they have a good uh, documentation on the how you should set up these files. But we wanted to, uh, we don't need want to specify the exact name of the files, uh, so we will have something called a default or a default uh, names. So if you just type in uh, wwjl222 jk.devopslabs.xyz you should come uh, you should get the page that we created before and we need to set up some default pages so index.html and if you want more you can just add a space and we can add index so you don't if you don't have any ending of the file or index.htm so if you haven't specified a, a file that you want to access on the web server, it will look in that dire root directory, this one, for one of these files. And if it's finest, it will um, make that available and show that to the user. Oh, we have that already down here. So we don't need this one. Uh, we won't be using this index Debian HTML. And that's it for configuration. We also need to add configuration for the second file. We can copy the first one. And make changes to that one instead. We just change the location where the HTML files are saved and which names this should answer for. <clears throat> the next thing we need to do is enable these sites and we do that by creating a, a link of this configuration file into uh, the sites enabled. So by using the ln command we can create a symbolic link, uh, a shortcut you can say, for this file and we'll add it into this folder here. And in this folder is where all the enabled sites should be, the configuration for those. So if we run that and then we list the content etc engine x sites enabled we will have the default and now we have this this isn't uh, the actual file it's located uh, you see here in sites available but these are not loaded by default if they are not linked into this folder so we should do the same for our second site and now we see that we have three sites 
we should actually delete this default. Uh, we don't want that to mess up our server. So we can do that by just removing that link by using the rm command, probably with sudo. And then we have in the default configuration of Nginx, it won't support long URL names. So we need to change that in the configuration file. Uh, the changes you should make is this. You should uncomment that line, the server name hash bucket size. Now the Nginx will uh, allow longer URL names. And then we restart uh, the Nginx with sudo system uh, ctl and restart Nginx. Seems to be one error in the configuration. You can use the status command and see and try to figure out what's wrong and here we see that to have the du duplicate default server okay you can't have the answer on the same address and i think i know what the problem is i should make some changes in the second site so in this set we can't have that to be the default site so it should only state that it should listen to port 80 this is for ipv6 we don't use that but it shouldn't be the default uh, site you can only have one default and that's if you don't specify a a name, just the IP address. It needs to know which site of which one of these sites it should uh, go to, and with this configuration, it will go to the other site as default. So hopefully, we can now restart it, and it seems to be working. And here we also, if we want to test this and don't have access to the DNS server, we need to make changes to our host file, our local, on our local system. And I probably will have the same configuration just as I did before. And I then only need to change the IP address, which I think was 110. Let's double check that. Yes, this is the first server. So we make these changes and then we hopefully, when we go to this, it will give us an error. File not found. Okay, let's see. Go back to the server and I probably made some changes in the location of the root. Let's see. Oh, yes. Uh, these folders were called uh, public, I think. Yes. So I had some cut and paste errors. I will have to change it in the default site also. And then we need to restart again and cross our fingers but still nothing okay that one seems to work did i make some
Oh yes. <laughs> Should be an underscore, not a dash. So we'll try again. Test is working and yes, this is working also. Good. So now we have configured the Nginx to serve two different uh, websites. As same as we did in the previous demo with Apache server. So that's it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>